Hey guys, today's Tech Talk is all about different leadering techniques for large fish like marlin, billfish and tuna. The first things first though, when, you, when you're getting into leadering of, of um, large species of fish, safety is paramount. When you're fishing with big heavy leaders, um, if you get tangled up, you do run the risk of being pulled overboard, crushing hands and even breaking bones. So safety is number one. When leadering these large fish, we highly recommend that you wear good quality leather leadering gloves. You want padding on, on the palms and also on the top of your hands to prevent any crushing. Uh, when you're getting a pair of leadering gloves fitted up, make sure that they're nice and snug, they fit well, um, so they're not gonna fall off. Um, and also with nice tight gloves, it gives you a better feel when you're leadering fish um, and, and also stops any risk of getting tangled up. The other thing, also wear a good pair of um, sunglasses. You never know what's gonna happen. Leader could break, swivel could come back at you in the face or even a hook, so a pair of sunglasses certainly gonna um, reduce any risk of um, damage to your eyes. So the three techniques we're gonna go over um, is the pinch leadering of a fish. Uh, we're also gonna talk about the overhand wrap or a double overhand wrap. Uh, and then we're also gonna talk about the backhand wrap. Once you've mastered or learnt all these three different techniques, um, it's pretty much gonna cover you off on any different aspect of um, leadering a big fish like a marlin or swordfish. Uh, and on the safety side of things, all these three techniques um, will allow for line to be let out or dumped in a controlled manner um, if a fish does an explosive run by the boat, uh, and it's certainly gonna keep you a lot safer. So first up today, we're gonna to talk about pinch leadering a fish. So when the leader first comes onto the rod or you got your first chance at grabbing the leader, a pinch wrap is pretty much the main technique that you're gonna to use to grab the leader for the first time. You can actually feel the line, feel how much pressure's on it. If you go straight into a wrap and you get tangled up um, and you're near the rod tip, there is a good risk that you could actually break the tip off the rod. So pinch leadering initially is the best technique once you grab the leader to feel the tension and feel what's going on. The great thing about pinch leadering, um, especially once the leader comes onto the rod tip, is once you grab it by a pinch wrap, you can actually let it go very easy or line can slide through your handing depending on how much pressure you've got in. Pinch wrapping um, is a great technique if you're unsure of how well the fish is hooked. It means then you can put minimal pressure on um, to gradually bring that fish to the boat. It's a fantastic technique if you're using light tackle or light leaders. Um, because you're not wrapping up and, and sort of committing yourself to pulling hard on that leader. So you can, you can basically apply just as much pressure as you need to um, pull that fish in. And the technique really is just basically resting your five fingers on the line and then pushing with your thumb back into it. So you can then control how much pressure you're putting on. You go on to the next one, same thing again. Next one, same thing again. The great thing about this technique also is if the line isn't really, really tight and a fish might be coming towards you or the boat's backing up hard, you can get line back really quick. You can work down it. So it's a really good technique. So there you go, guys. That's how you pinch leader. And next up, we're going to talk about the overhand wrap or a, a double wrap. So an overhand wrap is basically you're putting a full revolution of line around your hand so you can apply more pressure to either turn the fish or hold it stationary. Um, and if you need more pressure, you can then go into a double wrap. So you've got maximum tension on your, on your hand. You can actually then put maximum pressure on that fish. Um, the big thing is you want to try and keep your hands in as close as you can to your body while you're doing this so you've got room to let go if you need to dump the line. And the great thing about these, um, this technique of taking overhand wrap is the line will then come off your hand in order that it went on. So it will come off very, very easily. The technique is you wanna rest your palm against the line in between your forefinger and your thumb. And then it's just a matter of rolling your hand around the line. Take the next wrap, it's exactly the same technique. Okay, it then is laying on your hand in a manner that it can just come off quite easily. So there you go guys, that's the um, overhand or the double overhand wrap. And next up, we're gonna talk about a backhand wrap. So the backhand wrap is probably one of the better techniques um, for trying to get a wrap on the line when you're under a lot of tension. So it's basically just laying your palm against the line and then twisting your hand around it. So you can actually do that under a lot of tension. So it's a fantastic um, technique if you're really loaded up 
but you just need to get that one pull just to slightly turn the fish's head your way. Um, if you want to get another wrap on it, and that's when you need to go into the overhand wrap to get that double wrap. Same thing again, both wraps are going around in order, so if you need to dump it, it comes off the way that it come on. So the backhand wrap, palm your hand against the line in between your forefinger and your thumb again, but you're twisting your hand around there. So you can still hold tension with either a double wrap or pinch pulling. Then if you need to get another wrap to apply more pressure, you then need to do a forehand wrap. So it's gonna be backhand wrap, forehand wrap to get that double. So if you're leadering, you know, big stubborn fish like a, a big tuna or a swordfish that's holding down deep, um, the backhand wrap is certainly one of the better techniques um, to be able to keep and apply maximum pressure. You don't lose any, any tension on the line while you're doing it, so you can keep the head turned on the fish. So there you go guys, that's three different techniques for game fishing. You've got the, the pinch leadering, you've got the overhand wrap, and you've got the backhand wrap. Happy game fishing, adios.